I sat at dinner with somebody who, who, uh, whose father had been killed by the Iranian government uh, because of his faith and his, his witness. Uh, but that doesn't stop these people. They're passionate for Jesus because they really do believe that, that, that their loved ones need to know Jesus and that's worth any risk because, you know, what, what's, what's six years in prison compared to eternity in hell? That's the way they're looking at it. Not, not, not for themselves. They know that they're free in Christ, but for their loved ones, that's, that's a very reasonable fear and one that we need to recapture so that we'd be passionate about t- telling people. I know, I know that some of you worry about losing relationship by talking about Jesus, but what's that risk compared to losing them for eternity? Uh, we, we need to get passionate about telling people about Jesus. But in the midst of that passion... We need to be patient. Uh, uh, it, it's just the day in, day out grind of life together that, that that's seeing such great fruit. And we need to remember that that basically Muhammad died and worked or lived somewhere around six the six hundreds. And between six hundred, I think six thirty two, and and roughly uh, um, nineteen seventy nine, again there were only five hundred. Or so believe it's just just a few people here and there. It's only now that things started to explode. That they, they, they have to be patient. God is going to move when God wants to move. Now that doesn't mean we're not passionate and we're working, but but we can't get frustrated when God chooses to take His time. And by the way, aren't we glad that God chose to take His time with us? That he, how patient He's been with our sin, and yet continues to draw us. We need to be patient.